I come before you, O Lord, and drink in this moment of peace that we may carry something of your hope, love and joy today in our hearts. Lord, grant us tenacious wisdom, courage as we go through this day when we are tempted to give up. Help us to keep going. Grant us a cheerful spirit when things don't go our way. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Saturday. March 18, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an every language. Alleluia song. We never say so our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the word guides. The word guides. Our memory first, I may find the book of 2 Timothy 3 verse 16. I read, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. In 1 Kings 17 to 16, God sent his word to guide Elijah to where he would get food for a period of time. When the time elapsed, the word came again, telling him to go. Sarafat, where God had already made arrangements for his feeding through a widow. The word of God guide, it tell you what to do when there seem to be no way out of difficult situation. I pray that the Lord will open your ears so that you can begin to hear from him in Jesus' name. You will solve problem faster if you can hear directly from God. When I was working on my PhD, I ended up with many simultaneous equations, even solving one of these stressful enough, talk less of volume I have to deal with. I tried and tried to solve them, but I could not. One day, before going to bed, I read Exodus 14, where the Israelites called the Red Sea. Suddenly, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Bring your equation. I did just that and he began to say, put this on the right, put this on the left, and so on. By the time I finish and look at those on the right, they all had something in common. It was the same thing for those on the left, because they were all jumbled together before. I could not say that. The Lord then said, solve the one on the right separately the one on the left separately, then combine. That was exactly what happened at the Red Sea. The sea parted, the Israelites passed through, and the sea came together again, killing Pharaoh and his army. Five hours later, my thesis was ready. God foresaw in five hours what I have not, and I have not been able to solve in 18 months. When my thesis was taken to the external examiner, he read through and say, I want this boy is PhD. I have no question for him. He was told that there must be an oral examination, but he insisted that he has no question for me. He had no question because I wasn't the one who solved that problem. It was the word of God himself who did it. 
if you allow the word of God to be your guide for every decision you make, you will never walk in darkness and it will guide you to the fulfillment of his purpose for your life. John 8, verse 12. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Psalm 119, 97 to 105. And our Bible in one year, Judges 14, verse 16. Our aim is in 10, in Christ alone. In Christ alone. Our action point for today, may God word your guide in all decisions you make. May God word your guide in all decisions you make. And I pray God will be your guider. He will be your shepherd. He will be your alpha and the omega. In every decision you take in this life, God will guide you through. In Jesus' name, amen. Brother, this is Love Word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And the goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Happy weekend.